everyone, and welcome to 5-Minute Bedtime Stories with Miss Elaine. Tonight, I'm going to read you a Kevin the Unicorn story. It's called It's Not All Rainbows, and it was recommended to me by my friend Stella all the way up there in Canada. Thank you so much, Stella, because indeed this is a wonderful book, and I love getting recommendations because I didn't know about this story until you told me about it. So thank you, and we're going to dedicate this one to you. Everyone knows unicorns are perfect. They bring glitter and happiness to everything around them. Their smiles alone make rainbows appear. <sighs> when you're a unicorn, every day is filled with magical awesomeness. That's how it was for Kevin. Until the morning he woke up on the floor. Oh dear. Did he fall out of bed and conk his head? That's not a great way to start the day, is it? This had never happened before. Something felt different. Something was different. But Kevin knew just what to do. Keep it happy, he reminded himself. Look at the sign he's reading. Always remember to smile. So Kevin does just that. With an extra big smile, Kevin set out for a glittery and fantastic day. I like reading all these signs and the street signs too. Let's check out what they say. This one says, unicorn starts with you. Keep it happy. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle more. And the street signs over here are cheerful drive and upbeat lane. I love it. Sure, his day had started off on the wrong hoof, but Kevin was positive and he could turn it around. However, Things did not go as planned. Uh-oh. What's going to happen next? He already fell out of the bed. And that wasn't so great. Now what happens? He has a rain cloud over him. And he's in a convertible, right? So driving down one of the streets, he's getting all wet. Oh, by the time he got to town, Kevin felt a little frazzled. He'd never had a less than perfect morning. Keep it happy, Kevin told himself. Maybe a glitter soda would get his bit day back on track. Holy hooves! The line was long, but Kevin was sure it would move quickly. Okay, so he's going to wait in that long line to get a glitter soda because he feels like a glitter soda would make him happy. It'll turn his day around, right? Get him back on the right track. Let's see if it works. Mm -mm. It didn't. It did not move very fast at all, that line. And by the time he got to the front, they were all out of glitter soda. Keep it happy, he told himself. Hey friend, don't worry. I'm gonna set you up with a free, what is she gonna give him? A free clam juice. Have a sparkly day. Kevin kept a smile on his face, even though his insides didn't feel smiley at all. Ugh, he wasn't expecting or wanting clam juice, was he? Doesn't sound as delicious as a sparkly soda. Bump, splosh. Oh, sorry, are you okay? Totally, feeling happy and fantastic, just like always. Who doesn't want to smell like the ocean? What's all around him right now? What is that, do you know? Are those seagulls? Oh, Kevin continued on his way. Wow, that's a lot of birds. 
Syrup is very sticky. Happy birthday, Andrew. Oh, cupcakes. Oh, these puppies are so cute. Oh, there's a lot going on in this page, boys and girls. What's, what's happening? It's like his day isn't really getting any better. I said he's getting kind of sticky and in some situations and kind of messy. Oh my, Kevin could no longer hide what he was really feeling. Today is not awesome or fantastic, and it's definitely not sparkly. It's horrible. This is a really horrible, lousy, awful day. Mm, he's feeling so sad, huh? Listen, all the other unicorns around him kind of hear what he has to say and what he's going through and the kind of day that he's had so far. And guess what? Some of them chime in. I'm having a bad day too. Yeah, there's clam juice on my favorite shirt. This has been stuck on my horn for a week and I'm pretending it's not there. There's glitter in my eye. There's glitter in both my eyes. Oh, so Kevin isn't the only one having a bad day. I think it happens to all of us. Sometimes, doesn't it? We all have bad days. Nobody's day can be perfect. Oh, it turns out unicorns don't always have perfect magical days. And that's okay. I think that's a really important message for all of us, right boys and girls? It's okay to have a bad day. We don't want things to go wrong, but sometimes it just happens, right? That's part of life and that's okay. We just have to find ways to deal with it and to get through it, right? Sometimes if I'm having a really bad day or I'm worried about something and I feel like I need to calm down, do you know what I do? I take big, deep breaths. And that seems pretty simple and pretty basic, but I find that it works. Do you wanna try taking a great, big, deep breath with me right now? Let's do it. Let's suck our belly buttons in and we're gonna inhale, take, suck our breath in and we're gonna to count to three. Ready? Now, can you hold your breath for three seconds? Now blow it out. Nice and slow. I do that a couple times when I'm feeling worried or when I'm having a bad day. I wonder if you have any techniques that you use. Yeah, that's something to think about and to talk about with your families. All right, boys and girls. Well, thank you, Stella, again, for that awesome recommendation, that Kevin the Unicorn book. I hope all my friends out there enjoyed it. It's now time to say goodbye, to say goodnight. But before we do, let's sing our lullabies. Let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star followed by God Bless the Moon. Will you sing with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very good. Sometimes singing makes me happy again too. That's a good technique. All right, let's sing together our last song, our moon lullaby. I see the moon and the moon sees me. God bless the moon and God bless me. And God bless you boys and girls at home. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon on 5-Minute Bedtime Stories with Missy Lane. Good night.